What I love about creating a story is the mystery you can leave in them. It really leaves it up to that individual person's imagination of what they're watching. And I think that's what's so cool about adding mystery into stories when you're filming your projects. I feel like when we watch something, our brains automatically try and work out what's going on, what's the backstory, like why they're there. And I think that's super fun to like play with. I think that's super fun to play with in short sequences that you could make or I can make. And that's kind of what I wanted to explore in today's video. Now it's our job as filmmakers to lead the audience through an A to B story arc. And you normally see that through like films or like a super long series where that kind of like your starting point is different to your ending point or the character that you're focusing on develops over a period of time. And that leaves us like satisfied. But I think having a play with like short sequences and allowing the audience to kind of guess or use their own imagination to create their own backstory and like possibly relate some of their past experiences to that piece or just really allowing the audience to work it out by themselves for example here is a short sequence that i filmed a couple of days ago in a five minute break on a client shoot i, I kind of was on this small boat and looked out into the distance and i was like this would make a really cool short sequence about mystery and story so um yeah it literally took me two hours to to put together um and here it is I hope you enjoyed that short piece and what I love about it is how mysterious it is and how your brain try and works out like why is he there why why is he like stumbling why is it all like disorientated why is everything a bit eerie why is he just heavy breathing and I think that's the beauty of mystery in story because it allows the audience to actually do that I'm, I'm not giving you all the information I'm not giving you all the resources to work out what's going on. You kind of make your own story in your own head. And even when I was filming, like all I did to create that effect was just pull the focus. I had it on manual focus and I was just pulling it to shallow, to infinity, to shallow, to infinity. And I think it came out really nicely. Please let me know what you think. Like for me, you might disagree, um, but that piece could go literally at the start of a film and I can almost guarantee you that you would want to watch one. You, you would want to find out why he's there why he's in that situation and and I, th I think a key takeaway from from a personal perspective from making this video is that it doesn't take a lot to create something that's semi-powerful like this because or something that's unique and mysterious because often we think we need the best cameras or the best lenses or all the all the gadgets in the world to just create a simple video and you don't like that overall that took me about two hours to make but this is almost like a reminder to myself to create more pieces like this because I learned a lot through color grading just that one piece I was experimenting with different shadows and mid-tones and highlights and kind of oh my god just slipped. <laughs> just kind of experimenting with loads of different colors and seeing what I could create with it and I don't know why I don't create more short sequences like this. This is a a public reminder to myself to do more of these because I love doing them so much and I always learn something from doing them. So why do I not do them? You don't need to create anything absolutely crazy or have this massive story to just create a little mystery in a video or allow the imagination to wander. And if you've been kind of feeling like you don't know what to make next or you don't want to create, then just go out and film something, experiment with the color grade, pull the focus, see what mystery you can build. And I think mystery and story is the best thing to do when you want to create a story because it's probably the easiest thing to do when you're doing a story is 
create mystery because you're not having anything fast paced, everything's slower, things a bit mysterious. And I think if you just play with some darker tones and colours in the video, then I think you can really get mystery across. But yeah, let me know what you think about story and what really gets your heart racing or or what you enjoy watching. Do you like mystery? Do you like fast paced? Um, yeah, I'll be really interested to know. Hopefully you've all had a good day and thank you as always for taking your time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you soon.